out, city kids. Miss Mays here, and we're going to go through Volcano, which is straight from the Jimmy Buffett Volcano. Um, this is for our last All City, a recorder piece. And I wanted to go through the first part slowly. Um, the chorus repeats three times at the beginning. So we have an introduction, and then we have a chorus, which is tacit, um, which means without chorus, solo, or um, some of the instruments, but it does have soprano recorder. Now, on the recording that you were given to practice with, you don't hear the recorder part, but it should be there right after the introduction. So I'm going to go through the notes. Um, we kind of looked at it when we met the other day. However, I want to go through it again. So the introduction happens, and then we're going to start on the A. A, F, C, F, C, A. A, F, C, F, C, A. Cinco, ta, ta, ta. ta. Now the second time it happens, instead of going to that A, we're going to go to a B flat. So it's A, F, C, F, C, B flat. Okay. So far my thumb has not come off the bat. So that's the second one. The first one goes to an A, second time it goes to a B flat. The third time, you're going to not play that high C, but you're going to put an A in there. B flat. G, high D, take the thumb off, okay, C, A, B flat, G, F, okay, so that's the part. I'm going to play it in time so that you can kind of practice it once you go ahead and get all the fingers, okay. One more time. I'm gonna go through the notes one more time. That first pattern. A F C F C A A F C F C B flat A F C F A B flat G high D C A B flat G F. And that is for the chorus every time it happens, okay? Except when it is tacit. And we will go through um, the form in class. So what I need you to work on is that pattern for the chorus, okay? So the chorus happens and then we have verse one, as written. As written for us is basically we answer um, the vocal part um, with a pattern using low C, high C, A, F, C, okay? So it stays within that uh, arpeggio of F, A, C, okay? The hardest part is getting that low C out. Ah, and I want to put a G in, but you can't put the G in. That's the normal order of fingers, but you kind of go. And what I suggest you're doing is you isolate. When we isolate, you take just a part of it and you work through note by note. So for example, I might do eight times. Going from low C to high C. And then I would add the A. So 
So after I've done that multiple times and I feel comfortable with that, I will then add the F. And remember, we are isolating this little section because it's going to happen like that in the song. It really goes quick, so you have to be ready on the and of four to play that low C. So I've played that a couple times and I'm really comfortable with. Now I've added the low C. Slowly. What did I do that time? I let my fingers add the G. So I would go back and re-isolate. So, if you notice, the faster I get, I lost a little control with the tongue matching the finger. So that's something I would go and practice as well. Isolate again. Take your time with it. So basically, when we put that those two patterns in the song, we really do not have any other patterns to work with until the end. Okay, and the ending is just a reprise of what you did in the beginning. So that's the ending as well. So the only thing you need to work out is the first pattern, and that happens at the end too, and then that middle pattern where you're going to have to isolate the fingers. That low C. We will work together in class to put it with the song. What I need you to do is go through and work the fingers, get those patterns down so that when I see you, we can put it with the song. I will see you on Tuesdays for rehearsal. Have fun practicing.